will be starting with the class of handwriting that how we write the alphabets okay So before starting, we'll just have a quick, uh, a quick description of that, how we will draw the planting line and various images. So these are just for the practice purpose that how our hand flow. So we are making planting line. Next is making curves. Then making waves. So both it comes between the two lines, the upper and the below line. How we form different curves. It's the way how we write the cursor. Making loops. Now we have categorized uh, the alphabets in three forms. So first comes the small letters. First category is of small letters.
Next are the tall letters. And the third are the four letters. So now I make you understand. Uh, firstly, we'll start with small letters. So small letter in small letters, the first letter is letter A. So we make a slant line, then one oval, and then the curve. So this way we make A. Okay. So next, next comes the letter C. Small curve, yes. Then we will make the letter I. We'll do, we'll create a bit of slant, then come down. Then a curve. So this way we'll make I. Next small letter is letter M. This way we will make letter M. Next small letter is letter N. So these uh, are till letter N, then comes the letter R. Then comes letter S. So now we'll make the next. The next small letter, this is letter U.
then comes the letter B. The next is the letter W. And the last small letter is letter X. Started from below, make a curve, then attach one C. So, this way we are done with the small letter. Now we will move forward to our second category, which are of tall letters. The second category. So, in tall letters, the first letter is letter D. So we have to move our hand like we make A. Then we have to move upwards and down. Now the next letter is letter L. In letter L, we don't make any loop. Now the next letter is letter T. Next letter is letter B. We call them tall because these letters attach to the upper line and to the below line fully. So that's why they are tall letters. Will be made B. Next comes letter H. So in these letters, there is a small loop. Next comes the letter K. So, all these letters comes under the tall letters. So, after completing this, we will move forward to the third category, which is of four letters. So, in four letters, we call them four letters because they fall below the lower line. So that's why there comes under four letter.
So this way we'll make P. Next come the letter Q. So we'll move it like A. Then we fall below, we move down and then a small curve. So this day we make Q. Next letter is letter J. Next comes the letter G. We have to make a make it like A, then go down and come upwards. This way we make G. Next is the letter Y. Next letter is letter Z or letter Z. Then comes the letter O. And the last letter that falls in the fall letter is letter A. So now, after completing all the categories of uh, letters, we'll have a quick revision that how we make all the letters. Okay, so we will write the letters in, a, in the alphabetical order.
so this way we have completed that how we'll make the small letters small letter formation now we will do the word formation by letters So first word is arm. How we will join the letters? So this way we will write arm. Next is bit. Then egg. Then comes the letter word. Sorry, the word word. Gun. Ink. Jug. Get. Next word is made. Next. Oats. Push. Run. Next word is six.
test. Yen. So now we'll be moving towards the some bigger words. First word is except. Next word is brave. Next word is caption. Next word is deliver. Next word is elegant. Next word is punctuality. So this way we have uh, made the letters with small letters. So now in our next class, we'll understand that how we write capital letters and sentences, capital letters formation. Okay, see you in the next class.